Hi there, it's Mark Ling here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to write Facebook ads for landing pages that are um, an affiliate landing page. So you're going to send them to a page that is going to be an affiliate lander that is then going to later send them either to the offer or perhaps it might send them to an opt-in page from there depending on what you're, you're pushing as an affiliate. But anyway, for any decent ad to work, you've got to find the people in your, and for information products, by the way, this is what I'm talking about, you've got to find uh, the people that perhaps have the problem that you're providing the solution to in that information product. So you're going to have to talk a little bit directly to those people. So it's it's really important to just overview before you end up writing the your ad, you want to look and see what's the problem. What's um, and how is that agitated? Agitate, and what is the solution? Okay, and then obviously you've got your link. Now that's a very very basic version of an ad. After that, we look at going over that ad that gets written and say, how can we add curiosity, and how can we add story? Okay, so. Um, I'll give you an example and sometimes you don't need to add story and sometimes it works better if you do so um, I'll give you an example of that now let's say we're promoting why men pull away and I've written a sample ad for that you can use that as your ad if you wish to you totally can use that as your ad in fact um, I've only spent about twenty dollars or just under on paid traffic so far with this ad in particular and it's already made me a hundred and I think it's hundred and twenty three dollars back I have to double check I can't remember off the top of my head but um, it's already proving profitable this particular ad from early testing um, I'm just spacing it out um, all right there we go so um, here's whoops how did that miss that there and then we have the link here all right so here we go problem okay so this is not the story version this is just a, a problem agitate solution okay some some women ask this question and then the question might be why do men lose interest in a woman they once loved or why did he pull away from me or why did he leave me or something like that but asking or does he really love me so some women ask this question does he really love me but asking a man this question directly is not usually the best way to uncover his true feelings about the topic that's because men and women men think differently to women some women become very frustrated by a man's seemingly unexplained behavior that's really kind of agitating but without story it's not going to agitate it too much but again um, I'll, I'll explain also in a moment why I'm I'm talking in a third person tone rather than in a tone of um, like directly to the person like using you and your I'll explain that soon okay in case you're wondering but for now um, some women become very frustrated by a, a man's, it should be a man's, seemingly unexplained behavior. Why do men pull away? Why do they lose interest in a woman they once loved? Why do some men lie and others don't? Why do some men commit to some women and not to others? Why do I attract the wrong kinds of men repeatedly? So, so basically I'm asking all the questions that some women, are, they have, basically agitating all the problem. Like, stating, because if you can state the problem in their own words, they kind of feel like you have the solution if you already know what the problem is. Those are a few of the many questions I've received and it's easy to have concerns about relationships with men when you don't understand how and why they think the way they do. The great news is that thousands of women all around the world are in happy and loving relationships. Here is the real reason why men lose interest in how to stop a guy pulling away. Link here. So there's your solution. Okay? And then uh, hint, it's not your fault, and yes, some men are douches, but also some are not. And then another link here. Um, and P.S. Imagine what it will feel like to to him. Imagine, P.S. Imagine what it will feel like to him by being the one woman who truly gets him. Okay, so I'm allowing her to imagine what it's like to 
have what it is that they're looking for you know um okay so that's that's with that and the reason why i didn't use you and your like you will discover this you will discover that or have you ever asked yourself the question blah 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 blah, blah. the problem is if you talk too directly to the person the moment you go to scale your ads up facebook kicks your ad out they don't like people directly promising using promise words like you will this you will that and they also don't like you over the top using you and your it just seems to happen now you can use those words a little bit I could have used it a little more than I did but if I don't need to then I know that it's safer safer for the long run uh, if I want to scale this ad up longer so that ad is a template you could just use as is by the way that's an option if you want to um, or Secondarily, you may wish to um, write your own. Um, and obviously, you're going to have to have some um, link text as well below hand. It'll say something like, um, um, what, um, finally revealed, why men pull away. And then it'll say, learn more. It'll say something like that. You know, simple as that, though. Um, now, curiosity and story. That's another thing that's well worth bearing in mind. I could totally turn this into a story. Like, it could start off like this. Um, I was meeting my friend Sally at, uh, for lunch at the coffee shop. And uh, the last time I... No, I'll start this again. The last time I'd seen Sally, she had gone through a terrible relationship breakup. That was six months ago. But when I met her for lunch, instead of... Uh, but when I met her for lunch, she had a... Um, she had a fantastic glow to her face she she was positively beaming um, she'd met a man who um, who was a lot of fun to be around was very ambitious seemed to have a great future ahead of him and was starting to have starting to initiate talks about further commitment with her um, in the past, um, Sally had asked me, uh, we'd had a lot of deep relationship discussions about why, why do men pull away? Why do they lose interest in women they once loved? She used to get frustrated by men who used to lie to her or used to commit to a, the next woman that they met, but not to her. Why did she attract the wrong kinds of guys repeatedly and so forth? But the great... but. But then she discovered three harmless little questions that, um, that led to her understanding men more and becoming the kind of woman who, um, who truly gets him. And that's where she's at now. And the great news is that there are thousands of other women all around the world like Sally who are in happy and loving relationships. Here is the real reason why men lose interest and how to stop a guy from pulling away. Link here. You know, it's easy to have concerns about relationships with men when you don't understand how and why they think the way that they do. But it's not your fault. And yes, some men are douches, but also some are not. Link here. P.S. Imagine what it will feel like when you are the one woman who truly gets him. Smiley face. Like, that's... Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud how this ad can be told in a story format. And quite often a story will beat out um, an ad of this style. Uh, quite often. Not always though. So that's why it pays to test. Alright, so again, the whole idea though is that you're going through the problem, somehow agitating it, got your solution, and a link. And uh, curiosity, you can add to it curiosity and story because people are drawn in a little bit more by story quite often. Um, it's just human nature. So, again, though, 
when you tell story and stuff like that, you don't need to add promises. You don't need to say, you will do this, you will get that. And that's what Facebook likes. They like it when it's less promises and more just inf inferring things. So if you're in the weight loss niche, for example, and you can't really use the words weight loss, but you can say things like, um, I, I met up with my friend Diana for lunch and I couldn't believe how great she looked. See, I'm not saying that she, I'm not saying she lost 56 pounds in, in six weeks or anything like that. I could just say I couldn't believe how great she looked. She, um, she looked fitter, healthier um, than I'd seen her before and, I'm, and was uh, wearing that dress that she'd always wished she could fit into or something like that. Or she was wearing those tight jeans that she'd always, that she'd bought two years ago that she'd never been able to, um, that she'd never worn before or something. I'm just making, I might not quite have the right wording here as I'm saying this, but I'm coming up with this off the top of my head. How would you go about it for weight loss? Well, this is dating and relationships in this case. And we're trying to do it in such a way without promising and using too many words involving the words dating, relationships, and so forth, but um, while inferring enough. So anyway, I hope that this all makes a lot of sense um, about how to write these kind of ads. If nothing else, you can always write a very short ad and just go out with the problem, agitate it a tiny bit, promise the solution, and just have a link. And again, if the landing page is good, there's still a high possibility that it may well do well. And if your ad doesn't work, try again. Try different text. It's, it's a little bit of trial and error. And the people that are willing to do a lot of trial and error tend to get the best results with this stuff. So definitely do that as well. Okay, so we're going to look at how to set up an ad account and all of that sort of stuff soon. But I thought it's quite important that you actually had an ad to go with, first of all, so you're ready to roll. So anyway, that's it from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.